Field in Minneapolis. Diamond Dynasty Baseball on tap tonight. It's the Thunder taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. The wind of the pitch. That catches the zone for a strike, and we're underway. And a swing and a miss. Lewis. One up, one down. Here's Francisco Lindor. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Francisco Lindor at the plate. The Mets shortstop originally drafted by Cleveland. And a guy with some serious power and an excellent defender. One ball. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And now two gone. Two outs, bases empty. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Chipper Jones. Up and in, and that is ball one. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Here's Mike Trout. Mike Trout. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. And he'll one. Swing and a miss. Jones off of first with two away. Pitch misses, and a count one and two. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at-bat. He's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. In time, the 2-3 strikeout ends the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. The pitch. Down the middle for a strike. One one. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. That one finds the corner, and the count is 0-2. And, and that's in the dirt. Two strike. Out to center. Trap balls it in, and there's one away. Here's Byron Buxton. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And there's a foul ball. You'll want. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Oh, two. In the air, right field. And it drops in. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow we got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Mansardo snags it for the second out. Well, now here's Carlos Correa with a chance to hit. That's your stop. Correa. That's in there, and it's 0-1. Way out front for strike two. No ball, two strikes. That ball, one just misses. Just two. missed. Two, two, two. Struck him out swinging. All set for the start of the inning. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Late on that fastball. Bunting, but that's a foul ball. Ninety-nine miles per hour to finish him off. And now here is Lawrence Butler. Butler. And a foul ball. 
One down, base is empty. And yep, that's outside. And one and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, required to give him the call. I bet you one if he ball. throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Base it misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Jose Ramirez. Two out spaces empty. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss as he was out front. That one, one not close. Now one and two. 0-2 oh, fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. No, oh, that's a strikeout. And that'll do. Back in Minnesota. Max Kepler at the plate. That clips the corner. Fought off foul. And the righty deals. All one. Way to lay off that fastball ball, up strikes. right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Brian oh. Jeffers, the next to hit, takes ball one. Up the middle. Jump, bro. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Matt Wilmer in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. That one drilled left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And now the first baseman, Kyle Manzardo. Manzardo. Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. Mansardo oh, goes six foot one in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he was a second round pick in 2021. Kicks and fires. At the ball. One ball, two strikes. And ball, ball evens the count. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer Three. that pitcher. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Mitch Garver up to hit here. And a foul ball. High fly ball down the left field line. That one is back. Caught just shy of the wall. So the batting order turns over. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Swings through that one out in front oh, that one. time. Fastball oh, almost got him there. Well, you've got to establish the inside part of the plate early, and that sends a message not just to this hitter, but to the rest of the lineup as well. On to first, third out. Back at target field, and here's the first baseman, Kyle Farmer. Big stock center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. And that one fouled off. The 0-2. That one down the line, and foul ball. Got him swinging on the curveball, and one out now. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Next to hit, Edouard Julien. Fouled off, he was late. Still tied at zero, last of the third. And a swing and a miss, down on strikes. Now two away. Byron Buxton, now at the plate. And that's too high. Right through there for a strike. In there at the knees. One and two. Swing and a ball popped up. Manzardo gets under it. And the inning is over. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Francisco Lindor. Swing and a miss. 98 on the gun. For Lindor being drafted out of Montverde Academy. He's a guy that's turned into one of the best all-around players in the game. 
Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Jeffers down to first oh. with it. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Chipper the Jones, the next to hit. One for one with a single so far. Four to one. Oh, and one. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. Cap dances out of the way of that one. Up and in. Two balls, two strikes. Two well, he's not afraid to strikes. fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. So two yeah. down now, and here is Mike Trout. That one hammered center field. Buxton ranges back. Off the batter's eye, gone. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. He got on plane with that high fastball, and look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Bunting for a hit. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Two down, nobody on. And he lays one down the left side. Lewis. Not in no, time. That's a bunt single. Now, back. Right field. now it's the right fielder, Lawrence Butler. Struck out swinging his first time. Smoke to right, but he's got it. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the fourth, down the third baseman, Royce Lewis. This one high in the air to left center. Ramirez sprinting for this one. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0-2. Down the line. Ramirez in pursuit, and he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. And one now ball. one and two. two. They oh. tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Ah. Got him looking. That's out number two. Now batting Max oh, Kepler. Oh, Struck out swinging oh, his you. first time. Ah. Kepler. Hey. Big swing and a miss. Oh, one's the count. Hit hard. That gets through. So he gets on base and keeps it going. He was all over that one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Trout brings it in for the third out. We go to the top of the fifth. And the batter now, Jose Ramirez. And the pitch. Foul ball there. Comes up empty. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. This guy hasn't played it very much. You got to focus on the stuff. And... Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Right hander kicks deals. Ball one, one there. Two and there's a ball. ball. Mm. That okay. one misses. And that's ball three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Kyle Mansardo getting ready to hit. Swing and a miss. In the on deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good hittable fastball early in the count. Walner puts it away, and there's two down. Now the catcher up to hit, Mitch Garver. 
Heading down the line. Walner drifts towards it. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in at 0-2. Oh, and miss. Struck him out. And, and we're back. Now the left fielder, Matt Walmer. And that one is lifted in the air. Ramirez settles under it. And there's one away. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. Rips that one center field. They got it for out number two. Carlos Santana, the next twin up to hit. Swings through that. He's been going after these guys and consistently, one. and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Oh, Throwing the ball back. very well right now. Home team down a run. Last half of inning oh, number cool. five. Check swing, and he held up. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. And downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Oh, a great nope, back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found one. a way to keep the bat on his oh, shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Two balls, two strikes. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end. Back in Minnesota, top of the sixth inning. Jose Altuve up to it here. Altuve. First one offering up. misses badly for ball one. Altuve measures five feet six inches, 33 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Buxton makes the grab one away. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. That one pushed foul. And the right hander deals. Strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellence. Oh, that pitch got away from him. And that's a hit by pitch. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Chipper Jones will hit next. One for two. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Lindor around second, headed for third. And the throws offline, safe at third. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. The nice line drive to the pull side seven. right there, but he didn't Mike. spin off of it. That's the wow. key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. One down. Ozzie Albies digs in now. Golden opportunity right here. Swung on, belted. Out of here, grand slam. That was blasted to the moon. And they tack on to their lead. It's five zip. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of them. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Brock Stewart takes over on the mound. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And now the right fielder, Lawrence Butler. Late on that fastball. Oh, one's the count. Foul ball. Still only one out here in the inning. And ball one. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Pitch misses there, and it's 2-2. Two two. Ah. 
right into the play. Got Two out. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Jose Ramirez. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. On the ground, right side. To first. Oh. And Ramirez is set down. Back at target field. There we go, bottom six. And now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. Oh, first right pitch misses. When you examine Buxton's career trajectory, the thing that really jumps out, the speed and the defense early on. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all of those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next offering upstairs. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Hard hit, right side. He takes it on oh. his own, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Swing and a miss. 0-2. No ball. Two strikes. Swings and misses. Struck him out. The batter number four. And here Just comes start. Carlos Correa. Carlos Correa. That yeah. one finds the zone. And that is Ball strike one. one. Lifted in the air right center field. And Correa retired. And that'll do it. Top of inning number seven at the play. Kyle Mansardo. Stewart back to work. Sliced hard but foul. You'll one. And that's, that's outside. 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 Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. And the leadoff man aboard. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got nope, great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And yeah, a swing and a miss there. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. One and two now. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Jose Altuve now at the plate. And that one fouled off. Manzardo stands at first with one out. On the ground to third. Off balance beat. There's one. On the first double play. And that's the inning. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Max Kepler. And that one is inside. So what we're seeing is a lineup that's just out of sync with the pitcher. They're guessing wrong and their timing's off. Right through there for a strike. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing oh, speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Out towards left center. Ramirez settles under it. And there's one down. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Come back into the mound. Got the out. Oh. Matt Wallman getting ready to hit. Hey. And there's the strike. 
Swing and a miss as he was late. Oh, two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And we're back for the top of the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Francisco Lindor. The right-hander back to work. Ball one. Ball one, no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Here's a swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. The one one. Now one ball, miss. One strike. Here comes a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Back there. It has the distance gone. So he blasts one out the other way. It's 6-0. Now it's the DH, Chipper Jones. Tied him up inside with that one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Down and in, moved right. his feet. Inside, and it hit him. Well, he went after him right there with one of his best pitches. I'm really surprised that one got away from him. Mike Trout will hit next. Trout. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch swinging. Ball strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. Wouldn't oh, chase that time. One on, nobody out, a run in, and we're in the top of the eighth. Grounder might be two. Off balance Ouch. beat, there's one. And it's a double play. So up next, Ozzy Albies. The 5 4 3 double play is a gem in baseball, and how can you not appreciate the skill and practice it takes to make this look so easy? Great work by the infield. Puts a bunt down. Lewis whips it to first, and Albies is. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Emmanuel Classe. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Ripped to third and caught. And next is the designated hitter, Carlos Santana. Hey. That swing right there tells oh, me he's seen the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, hey. but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime hey. you're at the plate. Got him looking. And there's two away. So the lineup flips over. And next for Minnesota, Edouard Julien. And first offering is fouled off. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom oh, half of the eighth inning. Three. Got it by him for the K. We're now back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Steven Oker. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Lawrence Butler digs in now. The pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach. Paying one and off. Ramirez stands in now, looks at that one inside. Strike hey. one. One and one. The one one. Out towards right center field, Kepler sizing this one up. And there's one away. Kyle Mansardo now at the plate. One for three. 
Step off throw to first. Back in there standing. Okert, a 6'2 southpaw, 32 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2012. That one ripped right center field. And it's off the out-of-town scoreboard. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard hey. enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to, one. to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. And he'll one. Bunts it back towards the pitcher. And he saved he it first. It. Hung up in a rundown now between third and home. And he's tight out, scrambling back to third. Applies the tag, and they get two. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Billy Wagner. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Lewis, batting with one down, takes a strike. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And the pitch. Nope. That's inside. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Nope. Just off the inside edge. And Richard. another ball. And right back to the mound. So it was a long battle at the plate, but they still managed to get the out. Correa stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Wagner is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Good win by six runs. Always nice when you can win by a touchdown or a couple of field goals. You want to keep that momentum going, knowing the offense can score at will, bring it into the next one and get another W. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.